Welcome back, everybody. Um, you may be asking yourself, Hey, this is a weird way to start an episode of Minecraft. How exactly did we get in this conundrum? And that's a great story for another day. However, I must say, I, when I first got in this situation of being... Oh, shit. There's things above me. Ooh, I don't like that. Um, when we first got in this situation, I thought it was really bad, but it actually turned out for the best. We got rid of a baby zombie. We got to hide and regen some health. So we're just trying to get out of here. That's all I really want to do. Oh, oh shit. Oh, we're, we're dead. Oh, we're so alive. Okay. We're just trying to... Th thank you, music. That's definitely tonally appropriate for what's going on right now. All I want to do is escape, right? The problem is it's not very late in the night. I mean, it's more than halfway through, but we still got a long ways to go. And we have a lot of materials on us. I forgot we did all that resource gathering, actually. That would have been a shame. Um, but we're going to... Oh, and to patch up the horrid damage I've done to this world. Just like that. Okay. <sighs> so. Let's go ahead and head back to our bed. Uh, this bugger here is really good. This is the one that got us into this situation in the first place. But if I kill him, I get some bones. And I, we want bones. Stop walking backwards, you stupid shit. All right. We got arrow. That's not bad. Well, let's sleep. Let's sleep on it. All right. <laughs> oh, my, oh my god! How did we get out of that? If you if you watch the last episode, can you can we just have a moment where we sit and wonder how the hell did we get out of this without dying? That's the real. That's a creeper. Oh, you bitch! I heard you, you fucker. <laughs> Let's have a moment where we where we wonder together. How the fuck did we get out of that whole mess without dying? Oh, oh no! Oh, that's what I didn't want to have happen. Rest in peace, dirt blocks. Oh well. You know, <laughs> in case you didn't see last time, we at one point I don't think it's an exaggeration to say we had probably around ten zombies following us and um, a two skeletons shooting at us. After we had fought off a vicious spider. It was, a, it was a bad night. Suffice it to say. We don't need to go over it in, in gruesome detail. Um, it was a bad night. There's, there's no, you know, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Not the best performance. Well, I, good performance. Not the best situation we've been in. But we did, fi we did fight it for ourselves. It was our first time ever um, fighting mobs, actually. So that's really exciting for us. So we have some... Oh, string is great. Um, egg, flint, uh, rotten flesh. Can you compost rotten flesh? There's no way you can compost rotten flesh, but we're going to try it. Um, ink sacks we now have, which was our whole ob big objective, and we have that now. Um, uh, we want to make a stack of concrete, so let's go ahead and make that magic happen here. Um, we need eight ink sacks for that job. And... Um, yeah, what we're gonna do with this concrete, you, you know, if you've been watching, but we've, we're gonna make some, uh, we're gonna make some some bars for our greenhouses because we're doing greenhouses, which is fun. We're back to berries, which is a shame, but you know, it was gonna happen eventually. Let's just say, can we just say, good we had mutton. It was good we had mutton that night. If we had berries, I don't think we would have survived the night. So, um, good on us for that. Uh, we have rotten flesh and seeds. Rotten flesh, I know. Yeah, I, 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 I knew, I knew it wouldn't work. Okay, seeds are composted. Rotten flesh in the works. Um, so we're gonna go and put the rotten flesh back. It's been a dramatic start, hasn't it? It's been dramatic. Let's put the, um, let's put our rotten flesh back. We don't want that anymore. Uh, oh, the experience is still here. Oh, this is from when I killed that spider. I remember that. Those were good times. Um, okay, so we have some black concrete powder, which I would love to make not powder anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and make that happen. So while we're unpowderizing this, we can have a long think about whether or not we should ever be out in the dark again. We're, we're, no, we're not gonna. Okay, so the way I like to do this, it's gonna be kind of a mess here, but the way I like to convert powder with, in the absence of a concrete maker, you just go up. You just go up, right? You just, you just go up. And now, the problem I have with making concrete in the wild is that it tends to scatter and fly everywhere. What I found with this method is that mm, a lot of it goes in your inventory and the amount of concrete blocks shooting off into the 
you know, aether into the unknown. Truly minimized. It's minimized. So what we can really pull off here is oh we oh shit we need another oh shit we need another pickaxe we're gonna do that actually before we come oh there's gravel and sand in here huh well i don't want this anyways so what we what we'll find is that our ability to um gather these concrete blocks is gonna be easier a lot of them will still go flying off but you know this isn't very complicated looking lake it's pretty round that shouldn't be a huge problem for us. I think we can make it. Um, I saw an egg over here. Did I not? Or was that... Was it already in the world for five minutes and it's gone now? Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? Um, but in saying that, there's another egg right there. So I'll take that egg as a replacement and uh, as an apology. So we're going to make another stone pick. We're going to go ahead and um, get more of that concrete powder done. You know, we've been working on this for three episodes now. I gotta say... Not a lot of progress. Not a huge amount of progress has been made. But in saying that, most of our time has been spent resource gathering. So I can't really be that upset at it. Um, I need more stone, which we have right here. So that's great. Uh, let's make another pick right quick. I should have made one out of iron, but I don't have much iron. So I'm not actually that upset about it. Um, what I am interested in is possibly a bow. Oh, we don't have enough string. So that's fine. Uh, if I was a responsible adult... I'd make a fishing rod, right? That's what a responsible adult would do. But me, you know, for me personally, I like I like a bow, you know? I, it's fun. I get to have a fun time. I get to go on an adventure. It's what I want to do, you know? Bows bows are, are my treat. So we're going to stand right here. We're going to do our best to capture this. Um, and we're going to stand here. So that way, if it shoots off in any direction, it's only going to shoot, like, here. It's not going to be a problem. You are not living anymore. Thank you for providing me your ink sack, friend. Do you guys remember? No, you don't. But in the second episode, there was a time when there was a squid. And we were like, I don't know if I should collect that ink sack because my inventory is kind of full. But then it washed ashore. And it just died. So I'm like, it would be dishonorable not to collect that ink sack. Can we just say that's come full circle? We're using that ink sack now. We used that ink sack, actually. We've already used it, and we are currently making use of that ink sack in this current moment. So that's exciting. Really glad for that. You know, it's come full circle. Everything you collect has its purpose. So um, I don't really know. This usually goes a lot fast, faster when you have a diamond pick, but that's okay. So we're gonna, just going to keep collecting. I can see some shooting out this way. Uh, well, I see one shooting out that way. Actually, not much. Of sh oh, yeah. All the ones that are shooting out are going on land. That's perfect. That's great. So we can definitely um, collect these nice and easy. So we're just going to break down this whole stack here. I don't know how much is left, but, you know. All you got to do is hold down left click. It's not that hard. It's not that grindy. You just got to hold down left click, and it'll get done eventually. And then we'll have a nice, beautiful stack of black concrete. And that's what we're really going after today. Is this the soonest anyone's ever made concrete in a Minecraft playthrough? I mean, in, in this kind of Minecraft playthrough where you're doing episode by episode, not in, like... I'm going to cut out two hours of video in order to make one entertaining 30-minute um, video. Because why would you do that? That's work, right? I don't want to do work. I want these to be easy and fun to make, even if they're not able to be watched because they're boring. That's the secret. See, you could spend hours and hours and hours of work on a single Minecraft episode, or you could spend like 20 minutes. I mean, can you fault me for that? So we got our black concrete great find truly wonderful um, we got our glass amazing work really happy with all of this we're gonna need lots more glass we need more glass so uh, what were we cooking oh we have more glass but um before we go further we really should uh, well before we really go further we really should be making some um some fucking charcoal and as a matter of fact, let's go gather wood. You know, I'd love to work on the greenhouse. I really would. I gotta say, though. I gotta say. You just always need more resources. And as I'm pulling that glass out of the furnace, I'm thinking to myself. I'm, I'm thinking, self, we're gonna need at least four more stacks of glass, right? And I say, self, that's a good point. It's a good thinking. You're a smart guy. You're a smart chap. But look at look at our coal reserves. We have 18 coal in one of those furnaces. Now, mind you, 18 coal, not bad. It's not horrible. 
right? You can smelt two stacks of blocks with 18 coal. That's not undoable. But then you got to think to yourself, wow, we, wow, hold on a minute. Hold on, bucko. Hold the phone. Hold your horses. We're only going to have two coal left after doing that. All right. And now I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking self, if I'm going to smelt things, am I ever going to want more than two coal? And I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, I will. I do want more than two coal. So that's the problem that I just ran through in my head. That's all the, that's that entire conversation happened in that, like, those, like, three seconds that I took that sand out of the furnace. So definitely going to want some charcoal. Um, I would love to have a stack, but, you know. That would take work, and uh, I mean, you know, you know my opinion on that right now. So, <laughs> I mean, so um, let's let's chop this guy down, though. This this big tree should be enough for us. That being said, I hate big trees. But that also being said, I hate the look of big trees. So, um, you know, it is work. But then we have a nice, not stupid looking tree in our midst, and isn't that a real treat for everyone? So, um, I don't see any more wood. Uh, upwards so I'm just gonna do this uh, there's kind of a method to these trees that I have not learned yet but I know there is some theoretically perfect way to chop them down I know there must be because every time I do it there's always like one small ass section of leaves left up and there's one oak oak wood that's just left over that I missed in the chopping process so there's got to be some method you can use to find see like that one right there there's got to be some way to find all these little hidden-ass, unfindable oak woods. That's really the problem with these trees. Nobody hates chopping down these trees specifically, right? When ev everyone complains about these trees. But I don't think it's the process of these trees. I think the problem is that after you chop them down, there's always some wood left that you didn't find. Because it's hidden in the bunch of leaves and it's not actually connected to the tree, right? I think that's the real problem that people have. And can I blame them? I can't. Also, it's becoming night. But, you know, I mean, look, we already survived one night, you know. Can I really complain? I can't. I, we can do it. We can survive this. But we're not going to. We're going to come over here. And we have plenty of wood now. Um, I'm not too worried about making any more charcoal at the time. Uh, for the time being, I mean, I'll come back. Actually, we should probably chop down all these trees. We should probably chop down the rest of these guys. And that way we can see um, when they decay... We can see if there's any wood that we miss. So we can come back and harvest all the wood. Uh, this is... This is ungodly, isn't this? What the hell is going on with this tree? Okay. Um, yeah, let's come over here. I think that this is the big tree that we're looking for here. So... Oh, God. What the hell is going on with this tree? This is not good. This tree's a mess. There's going to be a lot of floating wood in here. So let's look for some floating wood before we go. Just to say that we looked. See, there's some right there. Okay. Floating wood accomplished. Ow! Floating wood is accomplished. Um, I guess let's just chop down this tree, and then we'll just see what's left, and then we'll come back and get it in a later episode, I guess. We'll make sure that there's no flying trees around. Um, I don't really know what to do about this. This is a fucking mess, but... You know, eventually they'll decay. And I know we, we probably missed two or three wood in this one, actually, because I, I didn't find as much as I expected. But, you know, we'll come back. We'll come back and we'll see where the wood's at. Oh, I found one. And then we'll come get it, you know? It's not that, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not, it's not a real travesty. Let's get this wood. Let's skedaddle, all right? Let's skedaddle out of here. Let's go get, oh, look, a friend. Um, I don't have any bones for you. I'm sorry, amigo, but, you know. Not upset to have you around, at least. So, let's um, start by cooking up eight. Oh, hey, look, that's perfect. Eight of each, and that will consume exactly one coal. Then we'll go ahead and um, start doing the rest in here. And uh, then we'll just have five birch wood. How about that? <laughs> what, a, what a surprise. Do we have a birch sapling? I may as well go collect it, right? Where was that tree at? It was over here somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. So now we have our birch sapling, just to say we have it, right? Just to say we have it. Are there any apples? Apples are the most important thing about chopping down oak trees, you know? Got to get those golden apples. It's fantastic. All right, so we have that stuff now. That's wonderful. Let's go ahead and put away our finds. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, so we've solved the imminent and upcoming 
furnace situation. So that's nothing to sneeze at. Uh, we now have plenty of glass and black concrete for the greenhouse. A treat. Um, but that's not, we're not quite ready yet. We're going to need to get four more stacks of sand. Let, let's be honest with each other. Look me in the eyes, okay? We're going to need four more stacks of sand. Why are we working on the greenhouse when I need four more stacks of sand, right? We need to get that, okay? Bone meal, still an issue. We can't forget, we need to be getting bone meal. Um, but in saying that, we only need six bone meal, right? So that's not really that bad. Those are not grown yet, I don't think. Are these fully grown? Age is six. What is the age of a fully grown wheat? I don't think six is fully grown. Um, so, yeah. Well, when, when we come back next time, I think we're going to um, leave the greenhouse for just a little bit. And we're going to go uh, work on another project. Let's, let's do something else. You know, have a little bit of fun. Have a little bit of a little bit of laugh. Maybe not a laugh, but, you know, we'll do something else. Take a break from the greenhouse. It's been uh, what, we're do what we've been doing for a while. We've just been gathering resources. So let's stop the greenhouse and uh, move on to something else next time. Let's, see, let's find out what we're going to do. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.